What's going on guys, Techlift here. Today we're gonna to be unboxing, giving the first initial impressions of the M1 Mac Mini base model. Let's go ahead, unbox this thing, set it up, and put it to the test straight away. So I was initially on the HP Spectre 360, and whenever I saw that Costco had an awesome deal on this little thing, I was super pumped because I had been seeing this everywhere, hearing great things, especially for video editing. So I finally picked it up and started the tech channel. So lucky for you guys, you guys get an unboxing. So straight off the bat, it's a tiny little box, minimal branding, the minimal Apple just packaging that you get Mac mini super clean super simple. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up Just quickly tear off the packaging like the savage <laughs> that I am. I'm sure you guys are again Super tiny little box. I was like what the heck but basically opening it up You got the actual Mac mini itself. It looks super clean and just just great looking very sleek looking that metal casing that you get I used to have an iMac so I'm very familiar with this material and honestly I was super impressed by it now tearing off this little plastic packaging kind of like the iPhone packaging that you normally get it's like super well done and like kind of intricate honestly um, but taking it out of there you actually feel the cold metal plating around the actual machine itself and again like I said it's super simple and minimal you would never guess this thing was a computer this little black tape right there is covering up the ports um, and on the bottom you have the Mac mini like embossed engraved into it um, as well as kind of I think that's the fan I'm not 100% sure but taking off the black tape we're gonna go ahead and expose all the ports here now I heard this was kind of an issue for some people but honestly not too big of a deal for me I'm gonna go over the ports right now so basically you have the power button a power port gigabit Ethernet two USB-C ports um, Thunderbolt ports and then two SBA ports and then a 3.5 millimeter jack as well as your HDMI 2.0 port um, other than that the little thing is encased in this metal casing that I've gone over so many times already but it just feels super clean uh, super nice and super minimal and along with that fan on the bottom there now you can lay this on its belly like that or you can lay it upright which I did um, but basically other than that you're gonna get the power cord itself and then the classic Apple logo Apple stickers nothing too crazy literally this is the most minimal Apple product unboxing that I've ever done I want to say um, you do get like a silver pretty big Apple sticker which is dope adding that to the collection and then you have the manual there super easy to use and uh, yeah just plug it into your monitor and you're good to go now putting all that stuff away and getting into the actual machine itself guys I was super hyped for this because my machine even though that it is good for video editing I heard that this was just ridiculous for video editing I saw professional videographers making this their main editing machine and I had run into a couple issues little headaches here and there that just take time away and whenever you're editing YouTube videos and on a schedule and making content for other platforms that just makes a world of a difference so and that's the main reason why I got it was for editing this will be my main editing machine now the setup was super easy literally plug your power cord into the power port and you're good to go other than that whether you're gonna be using a USB-C Thunderbolt display or HDMI port um, and then your peripherals I have my HDMI cord plugged in for my display along with a USB-C Yeti caster plug-in as well as USB-C for my SSD external hard drive and then pretty much that's it the only reason why I didn't plug it in via USB-C for the display is because my HP notebook is plugged in via USB-C because it's a laptop and it charges it through the USB-C. That's just one of the perks of my monitor, which I'm going to do a review later. But basically, the startup was super easy. Hit the power button, and this thing does have speakers, which I was kind of shocked about. You power it up. The simple, super easy, classic iOS start startup and setup is super easy and user-friendly to do. Now, whenever I plugged it in, the display looked really amazing, and I think that's just like the classic Apple colors and textures. I don't know, it looked a little bit different compared to my HP whenever I, you know, do the double setup here, but it was super easy to set up, super simple, um, kind of breeze through it, honestly. And uh, yeah, guys, this is kind of my dual setup. Now, straight into it, I started up a video editing project. The initial impressions on this, I was blown away. Look at this, I'm scrubbing through footage. All this it isn't 4K, it's literally just 1080p full HD footage, but it, it did great, guys. Like I could scrub through this, no problem. I could watch my whole video back with no issues before I render it out, before I export it out. Something that my HP 
did kind of struggle with just a tiny bit sometimes here and there it is a good computer but i noticed that it would have hiccups here and there not with this thing the only time it did kind of have hiccups was there whenever you have like the little uh overlays but even then maybe like a second or two of like a, of a delay and then it starts to play it again now the export and render times was a lot faster depending on the settings you use it might take a little bit longer there were a few settings to where i was exporting and this thing was slower than my hp book because it ran off of hardware encoding and this thing was only running off of software encoding that might just be the premiere pro uh anyways that's a little nerd talk i'll save that for another video but Final thoughts on this thing, it's absolutely amazing. This is my main editing machine. This has sped up my workflow tremendously because I make fitness videos on my other channel. Check it out, Rodrigo Garcia. And my Instagram, literally like reels, TikToks, all of that, it has sped up my workflow tremendously. I've pumped out two fitness videos a week along with one tech video a week. Last week we did two, and that's thanks to this little M1 Mac Mini. Literally, this is what I edit on, literally the only thing I edit on, and then my HP. I I literally do other work miscellaneous stuff but i've also put photoshop to the test and i edited a full wedding worth of photos in lightroom classic on this thing and it handled it like a beast like a champ while running the video editing software and it just handled it amazingly well guys i just have loved this thing i did not use this thing for maybe two days and i noticed the difference immediately when i went back to it i was like holy crap this thing i need to just keep this thing because i literally initially bought it just for the review but i am definitely going to be keeping this thing i've had it for about a month and a half and like i said it's done nothing besides make my workflow better speed up my workflow and again i have multi-purpose apps like the premiere pro lightroom and all that so i do do that on my ipad i do it on my computer um, as well as like things like microsoft one uh, notebook or whatever you know things like that to take notes notion etc but literally i don't keep anything on this besides like little files that i download and then all my video editing stuff all the props that i use are literally on an external hard drive because this is the base model again eight gigabytes of ram anyways guys that's gonna go ahead and do it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys on the next one Ooh. Mm -hmm.